Hi, um, this is White Buffalo Man, um, alias The Courier. Uh, I'm still at Dot Mitchell's at the minute, um, getting ready to go. I just want to sort my equipment out a fraction before I go off into the wild blue yon. Yeah, thank you about all that. Lightweight leather armor, lightweight, right, I'll put lightweight leather armor on. Um, it does reduce my agility by one, but because I'm a little fella, I get plus one agility anyway. So I'm no really, I'm not really worse off than what I would be before. Um, going back to there, I shall put on a hat. And that might put on my poor perception by a fraction. And off we go. Now, Doc Mitchell and the bar, when the owner's not in it, is about the only two places you can rob that, if occupied, where you won't be killed. If you rob anybody else or anything else, they will shoot to kill you. Now, this is the town of Good Springs. Um, we'll visit the general store first to sell, unfortunately, what um, we took from the dock and to buy some supplies. Um, I'll be as fast as I can in here, I know, because it's pretty boring and I, I apologise, but it's all part of the you game. Yes, I am. I'm glad you have. Show me what you got for sale. No, first of all, I think what we'll do, we'll buy from him because that way it'll make our life slightly easier. We'll take the Magnum rounds for now, even though we haven't got one, and you'll see why. Uh, we'll take the 20 gauge rounds. We'll leave this slug, it's not really worth it. 5.56 rounds we'll take. Won't bother with the hollow point. We'll take the 9 mil. We'll leave the special round. I don't bother with special rounds. Uh, Carton of cigarettes, copy mug, cut. Now, sometimes I will take the duct tape because that helps make um, weapon repair kits, which are really handy. Now we'll skip a bit over here. Uh, Aid. Now, what do we have here for aid? Dirty water? No. Oh, doctor's bags. Now, doctor's bags in normal give you instant repair for your limbs, which is very important. Because a lot of things, like breaking your little arms and legs, and I'm very um, fragile in that department. We'll come back for stim... Well, we'll take five stim packs now. These um, are like band-aids that give you instant repair. Okay, that's very dear. We'll leave this super stim packs for a minute. Now we'll move over and start to um, sell some stuff to him. Okay, items. Weapons. Now what don't we need? Now we don't need the machete. We don't need the knife. We don't need a laser pistol. We'll keep the grenade launcher. We'll keep that. We'll sell the spears. The weather 9mm pistol is very handy. So, uh, we ain't doing too much. All right, Ar armoury jumpsuit. Lightweight leather armour. Tribal armour. Reading glasses. 21 jumpsuit. Uh, sell the poison. Get rid of the gourd. Get rid of the food. Keep the doctor's bags. Now, because we're playing normal, we don't need um, food. And we don't need drink, which is quite handy, really. Uh, we don't need sleep. So by that, you can assume that in other forms of um, the game, i.e. hardcore, you need to eat, drink, and sleep. If you don't, you have detrimental effects on your abilities to the point of it's so detrimental you die. You know, as I said, again, I apologise for the uh, slowness of this, but it really has got to be done. If you're going to survive in the wilderness, you have to scavenge everything you can whilst um, trying to stay alive. Now, 12 gauge range we don't need. Uh, energy cells we don't need. And we're still 33 short. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. So what have we got? Yeah. 26 binoculars. Well, I use them sometimes. Um, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to sell some stim packs, I think. Yeah, we'll sell uh, one of these stim packs. 
and then he owes us some money and we got enough to carry on right uh, that'll do for you because it's getting a bit slow we'll go off now and to the local tavern and meet Miss Smiles now, as a, you know I would much prefer this game if you could just press a button and end a conversation rather than scroll down through um, a list of options but it's the way the game is and that's what we're stuck with now this old guy here Easy Pete, he's a dynamite specialist, um, which might come in handy later on, but unfortunately, at present, my dynamite score, or explosive score, isn't enough. Here's Sunny Smiles, the lady who's going to help us. Dr. Mitchell yeah. said you'd help, yep. Yeah. I'm sorry about skipping through this, but it all takes time, and on YouTube, we're limited for time. Now, um, this is the place, another place where you can rob, providing the owner's not around. Uh, I wouldn't let Sonny see you either. But other than that, plunder away, me arties. Plunder away. Uh, I'll try and be as fast as I can anyway. What's that? Oh, purified water. Now that's Andy later. Um, what I tend to do is make little stashes of things. Um, the odd job then, with my memory, is remembering where I stash them. Um... But here we go. Oh, itchy nose. Now this guy here will just sit here and let you plunder the place. All right, so Evo me Ortiz, get a plunder in. Which reminds me, I've been asked to do Port Royal as well. I don't know why, because nobody ever watches. They just want to waste my time, I guess. Um, right, there we go. Take you, mate. Off to meet Sonny. Well, we'll take the pool coup, because funnily enough, a pool coup, or a belly coup if you're English, is a um, very nice little weapon to have. Not that I intend to get into hand-to-hand -hand combat unless I can avoid it, because I don't want my bum bit. And if you get your bum bit, it is nasty. Right. Here's Sunny, she's going to teach me how to shoot. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? I surely do. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Well, that's a start, but I don't reckon you came to me. No. Nope. Tell you what. I'd love to hunt geckos with you. Thank you. I will. Now, press X to reload because it's... After every time you fire the gun, I advise to reload because um, you never know what's going to be around the corner. I'll be honest with you. I'll stand up. I'll move a bit faster. Um, this game's only got really two speeds, dead slow and stop. Um, but luckily... Miss Smiles never goes in a straight line anywhere. And she allows you to catch up a bit. Now these geckos aren't the four-legged slow lizards that scuttle around rocks. These are bipeds that want to bite your butt. And one or two isn't bad. You can manage that. But when it gets into a gang, you need a pretty fast firing uh, weapon. Hence the 10mm and the 9mm pistols. Now a 9mm pistol is more than adequate for this, I think. I mean, a lot of people don't like using the 9mm. But big weapons isn't always handy. Now bear in mind, I come from the hardcore school. Where a weapon and ammo cost weight. And weight is precious. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? Yes, I do. Let's get on with it. Let's... Can agree with you more? Where's the other little farm? Oh, here he is. Oh, reload. Now, I'm going to go into... Ouch, you bit me. Right. I've gone into that. Is it any use? Yes, it is. Let's see. Can I shoot his head? Yeah, let's... No, I don't want an alarm shot. Right, here we go. Kill the little toad outright. Now, that is useful because it allows more accurate shooting. That's V-A-T-S. Vats. Right. Um... Where's my friend gone? I do not know. Oh, here she is. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. 
Well, worth a few cups of you, worth a few cups of me. A couple minutes, Good. So let's get on with it, dear. Thank you. Put the gun away for a minute. Where's our two? There's our two. Let's get going. Now, sometimes these things are so vicious it will kill the dog. Um, oh, here they are. Forty-five, forty-five. Oh, not your body shots. I think for this one. No, this is where it gets a bit tricky. We are being, we're about to be overrun. Nine mil machine gun. Oh no, we use nine mil pistol. Right, here we go. They really don't like that little dog, do they? Hey. Right, here we go. Oh, headshot. Down you go, it's one left. Now I'm not going to bother to loot these guys because over the hill I can hear a fight. I can hear it but I can't see it. Oh, here we are. There's too many. So, look, 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 look. Yeah, we sorted them out. Cut it out, will you? We'll go and speak to this girl. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you've done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Right, now I've become accepted in um, Great Springs, which um, is good for me because they're more f likely to help me out in the future. And if they idolise me, I even get a discount off the things I buy. Right, now, go up and speak to Miss Smiles. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? It couldn't hurt. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Okay, thank you. Now, at this point, we'll bring the part two to an end, and open up with me looking for the various ingredients and other things in part three.